Good morning, my dear friends. It's a special day, a wonderful day the Lord has made for all of you. I believe that as long as you're alive, you're a candidate for the blessings of God. And today, my dear friends, is no difference. Then my dear friends, the part to become in the month of May, the theme is a deeper intimacy with God. That is the theme for the month of May. And today, my dear friends, I'm talking about no longer in darkness, no longer in darkness. Now, I, I'll read from Ezekiel 39, but I want to build from Genesis 1. Remember the Bible says this, that the earth was dark, formless and void and the holy spirit the moment he appeared into the scene my my dear friends when the lord spoke light be light was able to shine because the spirit of god was present whatever the holy spirit is my dear friends there's always a possibility whatever the holy spirit is there is always a possibility when i say no longer no longer in the dark my dear friends it simply means that whatever pertains to your life you will know whatever pertains to your future you will know but the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you that you will not walk your life blind. You will walk your life, my dear friends, with the right data and the right information that proceeds from God. So today, my dear friends, you are believing God for this. Ezekiel 39 is a very powerful scripture. But I want to read um, verse 29 actually, you know, the Message Bible. I'm reading from it. It says that I'll gather you back from your own land. I'll gather you back to your own land, leaving not one soul behind. After I've poured my spirit on Israel, filled them with my life. This is a part that blows my mind away. That leaving not one soul behind, after I've poured my spirit on Israel, and I've filled them with my life. Then, I look them full in the face. This is so powerful because the Lord is saying that I will fill you, will fill you with his life. Remember, his life is his spirit. This is a confidence that you have to have in your life today. That you no longer live a life of darkness. You no longer live a life of, your, of any form of op oppression. But you will live a life that is full of light, a life that is full of power, of grace, of the anointing of God. You live a life that has got meaning and substance because the Father has covered you, the Father has protected, has protected you. Today, my dear friends, is our, say, is a wonderful morning because you are believing God to fill us with his life. He says, I will gather you back from, I'll gather you back to your own land. In other words, I'll gather you back to the place of promise. But he'll bring you back, will bring you into the thing he has promised you. Has the Father promised you healing, deliverance, whatever he has promised you, promotion, um, um, a house, whatever it is he has promised you. He said, I will bring you back to that place of the promise. Then at that point, it says what? I'll pour, after I've poured my spirit into you. That's the thing. He pours his spirit then he gathers you into a place of promise. How else does he fill you with himself? Deeper intimacy. We get lost in him. We take a deep dive in, my dear friends. That we may be sure wherever we stand. We may be sure wherever we go. And be convicted in all that we do. That we have the blessing of God around us because he has given us the fullness of his life. I'll fill them with my life. If God fills you with his life, it means this. It means that whatever happens to you concerns him. And if it concerns him, then he'll have a solution because it concerns him directly. That is the beautiful thing about God giving you his life. Today we are believing God that he's going to strengthen all of us in our inner being, of course. Fill us with himself, but he may take control of our lives. That whatever contains, concerns our lives, we can be sure enough that it concerns him. And because he has solutions, he'll perfect our lives because our lives are filled with his life. So therefore, he'll be doing it for himself. But you and I shall be the number one beneficiaries for this. So set yourself up in faith today for a day of absolute benefit. A wonderful day that, that the Lord has made. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life, your holy goodness, your Holy Spirit, your love and kindness, Lord. I pray, Father, for the gift of life of all your sons and daughters today, Lord. How I pray that, Father, you fill them with your power, fill them with your strength, fill them with your grace. How I pray that, Father, you surround them with goodness, mercy, power, anointing, Lord, that all they need today. As you fill them with your life, Lord, I pray that, Lord, may you call them into the place of promise. That promise you spoke over their lives. Call them into it, Lord. Draw them into it, Almighty Father. Bring them to that place, Almighty Father, for the glory of your name. I thank you, Father, and I bless you. You are a promise-keeping God, always doing wonders in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed. See you again next time, same time.